say again, there's an unusual anointing. There's an unusual cover. I agree with Brother Simba. There is a change among God's people. There is a change. May God bless you for coming tonight. May God bless you for receiving. May God bless these ministers that have spoken tonight. And God bless the saints that have worshiped and praised him. Now I'm going to let Brother Matthew Kanaw, where is he? Uh, let him give you directions for tomorrow. And everybody will take a moment, but she'll know better when it's through about directions to tomorrow. And uh, Brother Matthew informed them, uh, informed them that uh, anyone without rules come up here and be us around the not Right? May the Lord bless you. I'd like to say again, Ain't that Brother, nice. uh, Gil, Brother Gil is leaving out now back there with one from St. Petersburg. Brother Gil, I look forward to fellowship in the future with you and your church in St. Petersburg. I look forward to being in, if I can, the last part of your convention. Thank God for these new brethren. <laughs> I have to tell you something that the Lord has laid on my heart. To start with, I want to thank you for the night, for this service, for everything that's happened, for the move of the Spirit. But I want to tell you what the Lord has laid on my heart concerning the messages I heard here tonight. With one accord. With one accord. Acts chapter 14, they were waiting and they were all with one accord. And Jesus was talking to them. He told them, go to Jerusalem and wait. Acts chapter 2 says, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were one accord. I heard about the blood tonight. And the blood is the ribbon that ties us together and brings us in one accord. When we get in one accord, we see the Spirit of God move. When we get in one accord, we see the Lord come into this place. You'll see the Lord change things. The Spirit didn't come until they were in one place and in one accord. Amen? When we come together in one accord, trusting God, expecting God. Did you hear me? I said expecting God. When you come together, trusting God and expecting God to move in one accord, God will move. Amen? And this, this is what I, what I heard tonight as I heard the word being preached, the blood. The blood of Jesus is the ribbon that ties us and binds us together and brings us together in one accord. And when we come in one accord, the Lord will move in this house. Amen. Amen. And one of the problems in the church today, if you allow me, one of the problems in the church today is people are waiting on God. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Are you wanting something from God? Yes. Are you waiting for God? <laughs> I'm going to tell you tonight, quit waiting. Yes. If you're waiting, you're backing up. Yes. Amen. Because right. the Lord said to tell you, I have sent my son. Come on. I've sent my son. Amen. And when he came, he came walking and he came teaching yes. and he came as the living word yes. and he came preaching the word yes. and the word was made flesh and dwelt yes. among us yes. 
Yes. And when he was crucified, mm -hmm. he shed his blood. He reconciled us That's right. to yes, God. Yes. 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 He rose mm -hmm. and ascended into heaven. Mm -hmm. And the Lord then sent the Holy Spirit. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. And when he sent the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. he empowered us. Yes. yes. Listen. Yes. You are empowered yes. by the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. You are not weak, but you're powerful. You're not weak, but you're strong. You're not weak, but you're mad. You're not weak, but you're sons and daughters of the Most High God. Amen. We need to understand that God is with us. It doesn't matter who's against us. But if you're waiting on God, quit waiting. Quit waiting. He sent the Son. He sent the Spirit. He sent everything he needed to send. He has given us everything we need. You don't need anything more. You need to begin to act in faith. Amen. Trust God. Quit waiting. Amen. What do you need? Amen. Luke chapter 9, I believe it is. There was a man had a had a boy who was demon possessed. Mm -hmm. Jesus came to where the disciples and some of the hierarchy in the church was in a little dispute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because they said they couldn't cast that demon out. That's right. Mm -hmm. Matthew mm -hmm. just kept down. But Jesus came, mm -hmm. and what did you say to him? All ye of little faith. All ye of little faith. All ye of little faith. Amen. Put Amen. your faith in the Lord. Amen. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. Put your faith in the fact that you are sons and daughters of God. Yes. You have received the Holy Spirit. Yes. You have received the anointing. Yes. You have received the power. Yes. Now the church needs to begin to walk in the power, yes. the anointing, and the authority of the living God. Quit waiting on God. Start moving for God. Amen. 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 the church is the church is waiting. <laughs> God said, quit waiting. Quit waiting. I've given you everything you need. Amen. 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 Imagine if that father of the mm. little boy had a sat and waited. Mm. <laughs> He'd been waiting. He might have waited forever. Jesus might not have passed by. But he took his son and he went where he knew Jesus was. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. He moved in faith. He trusted the Lord. God told me tonight when I was sitting back there, quit waiting. Quit waiting. It's here. It's available to you. It's for you. Reach out. Take hold of it by faith and see it manifest itself in your life. Amen. Wonderful how you meet a brother for the first time yes. right across the bay from us. Yes. All these good folks back here with him tonight. And you don't know where the fellowship will end as we begin it. Brother Matthew, praise God. Amen. Amen. Amen.